61 out of 109 senators attend the first day of plenary for the week. It's a departure from the situation on November 13th, where only 20 senators attended plenary. The reason given was that committees were embarking on oversight visits to government agencies. At the resumption of legislative proceedings, the Deputy Senate President brings to the attention of his colleagues the matter of the eastern access of the federal government's railway projects. He's worried that the project is not being given adequate attention. We request that when we granted the permission for government to, uh, to raise loan from uh, China to develop the western axis running from Lagos to Kano, it was also in the understanding that once that approval is secured, the federal government will also engage with the Chinese authorities to also secure loan to deal with eastern axis running from Portacourt to uh, Medugi. Today, the story has changed. Now, what the Chinese authorities have been asked to do is to come and take over that axis and under a PPP arrangement and use their own money or monies to fix that uh, axis and then recover their money over time. And I believe that this is not fair to those of us who live on that part of Nigeria. The Senate Majority Leader presents a contrary opinion, but also raises a concern. The Eastern line or axis that was given to GE has not been abandoned. But my concern, and that should be the concern of every Easterner, that is from Port Harcourt to Meduguri, is that GE is designed to maintain the, the narrow gate it's only rehabilitation and not modernization. The contractor, General Electric, recently pulled out of the concession deal, which they entered into with the federal government to maintain and operate narrow-gauge rail lines across the country. The company says it would hand over to Transnet SOC Limited in line with its strategy to exit the transportation business. The Senate wants to understand the true picture concerning the railway projects particularly the concerns raised over the Eastern Railway Line. It is inviting the Minister of Transport, Mr. Roti Miyamichi, to appear before the relevant committees to trash out these issues. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.